Hi, I'm George, and we'll be using Photoshop Elements to change this background to black and white, just like that. And this is an easy trick to do, and I'll show you how that's done. Let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going to bother saving that. So we'll start off with this picture. Now, if you want to download this, there's a link for that in the description. Go ahead and download that. You can then work along. The first thing I want to do, though, is just to crop in on this and get a better crop on the picture. Let's also set the colors back here to black and white. That's good. And then grab the Crop Tool. And this will automatically give you some potential options in here. It gives a square one to begin with, and that's pretty good. I'm just going to move it over just a little bit like that. You just grab this grid and move it like that where you want it. I just want to have her a bit better centered in the picture, and I think that's pretty good. Maybe a bit more to this side like that. There we go, right about there. That's real nice. I like that cropping. Hit the green check mark, and that then crops the image to that size. And there we go. So that's pretty good. Okay, cropping is done. We're now going to switch over here to the Guided Edits. That's this tab right there. Click on that. And it takes us into the Guided Edits section. It'll look like this when you first launch this in. It's the basics part. Bottom left-hand corner, you should be seeing your image down there. Let's now go over here to Black and White. And we'll be using this Black and White Color Pop, which is designed mostly for converting the whole image, except for certain colors, to black and white. Use that. Click on that. This will then automatically load the picture in. Now on the right hand side over here, you can choose what color you want to target, or you can select a custom color. So grab that one, and then come in here and click into this kind of mid-range blues in here someplace, like that. What this will do is it will save your blues and make everything else black and white. And that's fine, we'll take care of that in just a bit. Down here it says fuzziness, pull this all the way to the right, and that will grab as much blues out of the image as possible. The reason why this is going to work with this picture is because the background is predominantly blue. Everything else is not blue. So we're able to separate those two areas based upon the color. This will work with any image that has differences in color like that. Okay, now come down here where it says Next. And in this, click where it says In Expert. This will then take us back to Expert Mode, which is right here. Now here's where the fun part is. Notice up here we have a black and white image. I'm just going to hide this layer mask for a second, right click, and disable layer mask. There we go. It just makes a black and white version of this. And then the layer mask is what we actually made using that guided edit tool. Now all we need to do at this point is just to invert this. So go up here to filter, come down to adjustments and choose invert. And there we go. That makes the background black and white, leaves everything else in the foreground in color. If you want to, you can put in an adjustment layer up here and adjust this value We'll go ahead, we'll do that one. Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels. Right here it says Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask. Check that, choose OK. And now you can, using the middle control right here, you can go back and forth and adjust the values of that background, the black and white layer. See, this is only affecting that one layer right there. You can also brighten up the whites over here and darken the darks down there, maybe Adjust your contrast a little bit. And I think something right around here looks pretty good. Okay, close that one down. If you want to, you can bring a little bit of your color back again. Just go here to your black and white layer and then bring the opacity down just a touch like that. And you can bring back in just a little bit of that blue, giving you kind of a faded out blue effect. So there we go. That's how to convert the background to black and white very quickly and very easily here. Just doing a little trick with that color pop from the guided edits section. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.